so there's no other place on the planet where you can get farther from land uh, than Point Nemo. And uh, I think that really puts what we're doing in perspective. Um, we're crazy. There's no one else down here. And um, that is very apparent when you look at the uh, chart and you talk about Point Nemo and what it represents. I mean, the, uh, the big line, if you will, about Point Nemo is that when we're down here, the closest people to us, other than our competitors, will be the people in the space station. So it's the first time that really systematically the RAIS uh, deploys 10 of these drift buoys around Antarctica in this zone of the ocean where there are no vessels and no weather data um, without these buoys. So where the teams are now, as they're racing around Antarctica and through the Southern Ocean, capturing data about climate change and microplastics, this is where research vessels rarely go. It's very expensive, it's very hard to reach because it's so remote. So it's so important that we provide this data. We're filling in gaps for scientists. And the more information that they have, the more data that we supply them with, the better we can understand the ocean, which means the better we can protect it. So yeah, we carry this, uh, this ocean pack here on board um, 11th hour racing and uh, as I was saying before, it runs 24-7. Uh, just taking water samples constantly as we uh, as we sail around the globe. Uh, it's recording some, some important, interesting data. Things like uh, salinity of the sea surface, dissolved CO2, and then obviously the sea surface temperature as we go around. And then that all that information could be fed back into uh, a, a much broader data set, which gives us really important information on uh, on the ocean, the climatology. And, uh, and this data also can be used in, in things like weather modeling and, and what have you.